and do let me know what you think because it's currently under development it's all a work in progress so this is a good time to provide your feedback you don't have to be an expert in any of those things uh, but if you are that's nice as well um, shall we jump into any of the tools or um, develop a new one let's do a new one so uh, this is uh, only running uh, locally at the moment uh, not published yet i don't think it's ready because it's not uh, doing much at the moment but the idea is to have a cochlear implant simulator and we have the code uh, let's see what do we have so it's a flask application uh, we want to do as little as possible in the back end so primary, primarily rely on uh, javascript okay so we have the index html uh, we meant to have okay we meant to have the audio canvas i think this is the this is it and uh, then we also should have a pixel canvas uh this will be uh, similar to the live uh, simulation but it will just be an array much simpler obviously just an electrode array 20 pixels that will go on and off depending on the incoming sound uh, using a microphone ideally yeah in some of the tools i have to make sure that yeah if you're not turning your camera or a microphone that they still provide you something useful it uh, potentially would be just doing uh, just placing a, a video in there um, below the actual application just so you can see how i'm using it or even potentially how it was uh, developed so yeah go check out the a life uh, simulator as well it's currently a live live uh, on the website uh, eventually yes yeah, so there should be some uh, youtube videos that will go uh, down uh, here yeah don't forget to share on any platform of your choice those don't really work well um this is something uh, we're actually developing using uh, gemini advanced uh, we'll pop it in here yes yeah, so i was asking if you can develop existing flask application yeah this will be well it's a new one but we already have some code for it yeah ideally all this stuff should scale so it works better on the uh, uh, no it does scale yeah let's start with that let's see what the uh, gemini says mm, why are you suggesting to modify the code absolutely let's enhance your existing flask application for a more engaging cochlear simulator experience here's a okay i don't like that voice the current visualization only shows the frequency spectrum let's make it more dynamic by adding a real-time waveform display this will help visualize the audio signal shape. Implement a basic filter bank to simulate the cochlear's frequency separation. Each band will represent a different frequency range, and its amplitude can be controlled by a compressor threshold slider. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that compressor uh, threshold slider in a moment. I think it should be called something else. Display the filtered output as a pixelated representation on the pixel canvas. The pixel brightness will correspond to the amplitude in each filter band, giving a visual representation of the signal processed by cochlear. I thought the uh, field uh no the pixel canvas should be a uh, okay a couple of things first the pixel canvas the idea for it is to be a representation of the electrode array so it should have a square for each electrode there should be about 20 of them and they should get uh, activated by changing color depending on the amplitude within a certain frequency band that the microphone 
is picking up. Okay, another point is that uh, we have styling file for the whole project. So the styling for this application, any specific styling for this application should be done within the HTML code. Let's go with that. And yes, we are also using GitHub Copilot. Don't remove the... Oh. Not very smart, are you? Okay, don't change the... Don't just get rid of stuff in the existing HTML file. We still want the current audio canvas and the filter canvas as well. It's very apologetic, okay. Without removing existing elements, audio concept in a pixel. To know why it's not the same uh, width and height, we can add the electrode array, number of electrodes, set the draw function. Okay, it stopped working. A pixel canvas. A, this is probably something a copilot could fix. We do need the workspace handle because we a, meant to be looking at a different file for this currently in the JavaScript, but uh, might need some changes to the HTML. Okay, that error uh, went away. We don't see the pixelated electrode output. A control shift C. We have the filter canvas. Where, where is the, uh, the pixel canvas currently not showing anything? Some electrons there. there should be a uh, twenty of them. Okay, the electrodes are not uh, appearing on the pixel uh, canvas. The meant we can we make sure they actually appear and they uh, change uh, color depending on the amplitude within a certain frequency band of the incoming audio signal. Yeah, let's go with that with a uh, workspace handle. Yeah, we put them in the same color first and then uh, color, uh, bend them in to change color depending on the energy within a certain frequency band. Yeah, so they're there. Okay, background. Color is white. Yeah, I don't see the electrodes. I think they might be in the wrong position or something. Uh, let's bring the... A uh, try Gemini. So we're not using uh, GPT-4 today. We're using Gemini and uh, GitHub Copilot. Right. Get the electro. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could arrange the uh, electrodes in a in a different structure. Um, what's called shell shell-like structure. That's fine. I see the I see the electrodes. Okay. Okay, we need to make sure. Make sure the electrodes change color based on the audio data. A cochlea. Let's see if it understands. <laughs> it's, it's just, <laughs> this is what the cochlea looks like. Oh, come on. No. What did you do? Um, it's weird. Okay, the cochlear shape should be just a spiral of about one and a half turns. Full circle divided by... <laughs> what? Full circle divided by the number of turns? No, 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 no. <laughs> still... <laughs> uh, still no. Vision and radius. Sine, cosine, angle. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. How is it even outside the canvas? Should be just a simple spiral. That's how that works. Uh, the electrodes are not being pushed. It looks like there's something random to it, but uh, no. Is it changing the size of that canvas? I don't know. It's uh, scaling is nice, but uh, it's not quite uh, what I wanted. Yeah, the radius. 
but the radius of spiral is increasing linearly <laughs> with each lecture due to uh, let radius adjust the multiple. No, the multiplier should be a uh, one. This create the spiral that expands outwards with each lecture. If you want the spiral to stay within this certain boundary, you might want to adjust the radius calculation. Yeah, the main, the main a functionality of this is that we want to change the color based on the audio data. Yeah, we want to calculate the average uh, amplitude for each band frequency. Determine the size of each band. Anyway, the idea is that, yeah, you have those electrodes in a cochlea-like shape, so essentially a spiral, um, and then the sound is being divided into whatever number of bands, depending on how many electrodes we have. Currently, we only have a 10, so a very old um, cochlear implant. This, yeah, 20 it doesn't really work. Well, life just died out. I had something going on, yeah. Go check out bindercast.com. There are lots of interesting tools. Uh, check them out and let me know what you think. One, 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 one. One. I don't know, it's just weird. Uh, is it working? Have to test if it's working at all. Maybe not. I mean, it's doing something. <laughs>